Welcome to Common Core Math. This is Grade 7, Module 2, Lesson 7. The focus of this lesson is on the addition and subtraction of rational numbers. We are going to look at the problem set, problems 1 and 2. The directions read, represent each of the following problems using both a number line diagram and an equation. Question number 1. A bird that was perched atop a 15 and a half foot tree dives down six feet to a branch below. How far above the ground is the bird's new location? Now we could make this number line go vertical, like a tree, or with the most traditional way is making it go horizontal. So since the bird is perched atop a 15 and a half foot tree, he is above the zero by 15 and a half feet. So here's zero. Here's 15, and here's 16. So the bird is 15 and a half feet, which means he's between the 15 and the 16. This is where he's starting. Then it said the bird dives down by six feet. Down by six feet means the numbers are gonna go lower by six. So he's gonna move down by six feet. And the question, of course, is how far is he above the ground? Well, let's write this as an equation. For our equation, he starts at 15 and a half feet. We could call that 15 and a half or positive 15 and a half. And then he goes down by six feet. So we're adding on a negative six. That's one way of starting the equation. Or instead of adding a negative, adding a negative is the same as subtracting. So we can either write 15 and a half plus negative six or 15 and a half take away six. In either case, where he's left is at the number nine and a half. So when asked how far is he above the ground, he's nine and a half feet above the ground. Now let's look at problem number two. This reads, Mariah had owed her grandfather $2.25, but was recently able to pay him back $1.50. How much does Mariah currently owe her grandfather? Well, the fact that she owed her grandfather $2.25 means that she was at a negative $2.25. So on our number line, here we have zero. Owing him $2.25, well, that's in between owing him $2 and owing him $2.25, but it's closer to the two. So that's where he started, she started. And she paid him back $1.50. So we know she paid him back a full dollar plus another half of a dollar. So let's write that as an equation. So the owing 225 is the negative 2.25. But then she paid him back $1.50, so that's adding on $1.50. Since those two numbers have opposite signs, they're really going to subtract. So we're gonna take $2.25 and subtract off the $1.50, and therefore, we would have 75 cents. That's the distance between those. That doesn't mean the answer is positive 75, and in this case, we notice that the answer is negative 0.75. So how much does she owe her grandfather? She owes her grandfather 75. 